Today we're going to be installing SimCity 4 inside of Ubuntu 16.04. So what I'm going to do is launch an application called uh, Acetone and that's going to uh, load the ISO. I'm going to go ahead and load uh, the CD1 of the uh, SimCity 4 ISO. There it is. Now let's go ahead and launch a play on Linux. And I'm going to want to uh, configure and start a brand new drive. And I'm going to go ahead and call it SimCity V1. The reason being is because I already have uh, one of the SimCities installed. You saw I was using uh, Wine 1.7.34, I believe. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go in to the uh, virtual drive and we're going to copy the executable from uh, the ISO, the auto run. We're going to copy that into that temporary file and give it executable permissions, the auto run. See how I'm doing that? Otherwise, we won't be able to uh, run the game. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and launch the uh, auto execute in play on Linux and go ahead and install the game. Put in your code right there and just accept all the defaults. In a moment it's going to ask me to insert the second disk in which I'm going to configure wine and point wine to the second uh, ISO. So I'm going to add a drive letter Add in the second ISO. I've loaded both ISOs. So there's the second one right there. And say OK. And then OK and it'll load the second disk. Make sure that you have it set to CD ROM. Alright, so the second disk is loading up. Now what we need to do is I'm going to go back into the uh, uh, virtual drive and I'm going to put in the no CD uh, file. But first I have to rename the uh, executable. I'm just going to put .bak and you get a backup file and then I'm going to copy the crack uh, the no CD into that folder just like this. Voila. Okay, let's go ahead and make a shortcut. Just like that, that's the file we just copied over. I have to name it uh, something different because I have some city installed more than one time and you can do that it's really cool that way you can have different plugins on different versions of some city all right let's go ahead and run it and see if it runs yes it most certainly does run now there's ways to speed up some city and I'll show you that later the video might be lagging a little bit. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm installing the uh, advanced launcher. It gives you options like turning off the uh, introduction and you know stuff like that. I'm not really sure how well it works in uh, uh, Ubuntu. I haven't really used it yet. And I'm making it a shortcut for the uh, advanced launcher. This took me well over an hour to do, by the way. 
I'm giving you the uh, 11 minute condensed version. Okay, so now we're going to put in the uh, resolution. I'm going to change it to uh, my screen size, which is 1366 by 768. This is the only way I know to change it. The launcher is supposed to be able to, but it does not work. It works in Windows. It'll change the resolution, but you just won't do it in Linux. Not on play on Linux, at least. And what we're going to be doing here is I'm launching the uh, BCS uh, tool. And that's what uh, uh, Clean It All is what it's called. And that tells me if I'm missing any dependencies, uh, or duplicate files, anything like that. When you install your mods, you'll know what I'm talking about. And let's make a shortcut for that. I'm going to go ahead and run it, and I know it's going to tell me that I'm missing uh, some dependencies here right off the bat. It does that in Windows, too. It's going to say I'm missing uh, two uh, dat files, like building.dat. So we're going to exit out of here. We'll just minimize it. And we're going to go ahead and add in those two uh, uh, files. I got those files from, uh, uh, it was either SC4 Devotion or Centropolis, I think is the other one. There's two major sites that you can get these files from. And it has links on uh, the BC, uh, BSC Cleaning Hall. So here I am, I'm unzipping them and I'm moving them into the plugins folder. That's where you're going to put all of your mods. Now when I run the uh, Clean and Talk program, see it says they're fixed. So the next thing we're probably going to do here, I think I'm going to patch the system. I'm going to uh, run the uh, updates for SimCity. I can find which one it is. That's it right there. And of course, all of these have to be run inside of Wine. Okay, this is the first update, or the first patch, I should say. There's two patches. All right, the first patch was successful. The second patch, I believe, is the night lighting patch. The second one isn't mandatory, I don't believe. And this is the same uh, thing you'll do for basically all of the mods that you're going to add in. Anything that's just drag and droppable, or like they say, it's ploppable, uh, you'll just put it into the plugins folder. But if it's an executable, then you'll just go ahead and uh, make sure you run it in, uh, in Wine. 